Alright guys, Ben from Trucks and Toys. Gonna to show you through a pretty cool build going out the door today. This is a Dodge Ram 3500 Julie. So this is a uh, limited edition, so top of the range. Um, I'm gonna walk you through, there's a lot done to this one, so stay with us. At the front, obviously we've got a pre-runner trail ready bar. I do lots of these with the 30 inch rigid light bar. Got the winch, got the lights, got the UHF, all the usual stuff. Um, we've colour coded his a bit on this car black, so we've got white and black theme. So the grill's been painted, bottom protector's painted. Got the uh, AUV snorkel on the other side as we walk through. So this one's got the front and rear Kelderman air suspension. So again, the whole thing can lift and raise and lower and all that stuff from the button inside the dash. Uh, Bushwhacker flares. We've got some um, XD wheels on the front with a bit wider tyre. So we've got a single wheel on the front and he's kept his jewelries on the back and we've made a match. So just to give you that nice appearance, the wide look. Again, colour coded the mirrors, badges, uh, door protectors as you open the doors. AMP electric side steps, we love those. Now this is where the real build happens. So all this contraption at the back, there's, there's bits and pieces for everyone on this one. So he's doing a bit of everything. I'll try and talk you through it. Dog box, dog box at the front, uh, cut out to have the nice ram symbol in it. Uh, this side has got the fridge. So open that up. We went for the upright fridge there rather than the pull out slide one. Um, it's got the Red Arc B, uh, BMS 30. So he's got the solar charging, car charging, 240 is there. Um, Switch Pro, it's also got lights in every box as well. So you turn them on, so there's a switch here. There it is. So lights on every box, all throughout the whole thing. Um, bottom box. Now this has got 160 amp hour uh, Revolution lithium battery. He's got the red arc place there. You can see all the wiring. So he's got a long range tank under the middle. Um, he's got a long range tank at the back and he's got his normal tank. So there's about 350 litres of, of diesel on this thing. He's also got about 100 litres of water, potentially 150, I think. Each side we've got these side boxes, again they drop down, it's got the Weber Q there, they've all got lights in them as well, dimmers, all central locking on this thing, as you can see the, the dual wheels as well, uh, underneath we've got the Fox 2.5 inch shocks air suspension as we talked about. So on this one, the reason it's a little bit different, as you can see on top of this, at the moment we've got the Can-Am uh, on top, so we've got big ramps clip on the back here, go down, that drives off and on. This whole back section in between these two boxes, that lifts out. He's also got a slide on camper, so when he doesn't have the can in on, it's a slide on in, in between and tows, tows the boat, tows the can in behind it. So we'll get another photo of that for you later. Um, as you can see, walk around, got a rear winch. Um, so this one's mounted, he wants to pull, you know, cars onto trailers, boats on, whatever he's got with that. Hopefully he doesn't get stuck in this thing. And this is that middle section. So this is a bit that actually comes out. So when he's got the buggy on, and this is in, you can still access this underneath, put his swag, put all his camping gear in there. So basically the same on the other side, except the dog box is obviously open. Uh, as you can see guys, a lot of work's gone into this one. Probably one of the best jewelries in the country. Uh, if, you've got a, if you've got a better one, let us know about it. Uh, otherwise, we'll put some more photos up and you can have a good look around this truck.